Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasala, Koholo Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Wakach Das, Double Honor to our Apostles and Elders, Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Awaf that's coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Um, driving right now, so I'll be roughly paraphrasing some scripture, but uh, this is Jake, I don't know what the hell they doing in front of me here. Anyway, let's get this title real quick because um, we've been bringing out some lessons on this. It's been a lot of that war talk going on, but it says Russia threatens that uh, Russia threatens re to retaliate as Finland seeks NATO membership without delay. And that's, um, you got Finland and, um, well, Poland as well, I think, if I'm not mistaken. You know, they're supposed to be trying to get membership as of this month. So if they get membership, then that would mean that NATO, or the United States, so to speak, you know, can basically just set right up on the, um, on the border, right there, just <laughs> right across the street, basically, from, um, from Russia. And set up anything that they want to set up and by law it's it's official because of their nato you know allegiance and their 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 laws or whatever right so this guy Putin, he been telling them like hey y'all do that if you want to you know <laughs> we we got something for you so we'll see how this escalates man um but these are the things that we're looking for you know we uh look forward to these particular types of things happening because it, it lets us know how close we are to our Lord coming. And hey, man, it's, it's so crucial to repent right now. Right now, it's no time to be bulling around, man. See, it's summertime. Jake out here shining up the car, you know, putting the chapstick on the wheels. <laughs> Armor all in the tires. They got the tops down. They on their bikes. They on their slingshots. And little chicks is out here, you know, they... Your toes and stuff done with the sandals on and you know jake just not thinking about shit man they have no idea that this place is about to be destroyed but hey it is what it is man it's all by the power and will of yahweh by shimmy i was shy as to whether or not he wants them to see it and get it anyway because he said that he's going to destroy two-thirds of our people man and it's a real strong the scriptures talks about gross darkness gross darkness is over our people man so you got these these edomites a lot of these edomites they know what's up you know this the kickback you know they they're, they're preparing for civil war so to speak sitting up you know out in the backwoods damn malicious forming having their military drills right in <laughs> right in their backyard with their children man and jake is just out here shooting at each other Having no idea what's to come, man. But and that's scary, man. It really is. So you know, you should thank Yahweh by Shimia Shai, man. If you've come into this truth and you know the real true name of the Father and the real true name of his son. And that you're calling on him. You know, and have and, and you actually have faith. The Lord is actually giving you faith, man, to believe. That's 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 a miracle, man. That's a beautiful thing. Because our people are so destroyed. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, all our people have ever known. For the past couple of centuries is, is white Jesus. Now all of a sudden the Lord is waking us up as a people. And and and, and we're starting to call on his name. And the prophecies of the brothers are going out and prophesying against this place. And you're actually seeing it happen. You're living in real time prophecy, man. That's why I pray throughout the day, man. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha. Wow, Baba Ball. <laughs> you know, we pray for the destruction of Babylon the Great. This great whore, this place that have our people, you see, in, 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 in captivity to this very, very day. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm driving right now. I'm right next to a truck with one of these damn Edomites. You got Edomites out here riding bikes with these tight-ass biker shorts on. But I'm right next to one of these, you know, they little 4 by 4s You know how they do. Muddy-ass 4 by 4 with an American flag in the back window. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it has a snake on it that says, We the people, a well regulated militia being necessary to the security of free of a free state, 
the night of the people to keep the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I wish I had my camera on. You can see it. <laughs> but it's some some um, some Edomites doing some road work and they have their vehicles parked on the side of the street. And this is what the shit says. And, they, and that's how they ride. They ride deep like that, too. The areas that I be driving to, the areas that I be in, all you see is Edomites and F-150s, big ass F-250s. You see them with the big ass tires on them, mud all over that shit. Because you know they living in the backwoods somewhere. You know? I see some of them, they, you know, be having big, big ass Trump flags on them. Still think Trump is their president. I see a lot of them, you know, they big ass <laughs> American flag waving off. They're just, just looking silly, man. But you can see how patriotic some of those, well, you know, the older Edomites, they still hanging on. These younger Edomites, so some of them are there. You know, them older Edomite sons, you know, that, you know, have been indoctrinated by their racist ass parents. But overall, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, they're not thinking about nothing. The kids, the so-called white race of children, shit, they out here trying to be niggas. They out here trying to rap. They trying to play basketball. They want to do everything that Jake is doing. <laughs> Caught up in that, in that darkness of Jake, man. That dark world, that dark thoughts of Jake. Well, that's all Jake want to do, man. This is what I'm telling you. The weather done warmed up. You know how them very first weeks of it be. They can't wait to get out here show off and shit and that be the, the highest murder rate of the years like the first very first two three weeks or the very first month of um your summer um climate because jake got to get out here party you know they barbecuing and then showing up at, at the, the 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 family reunion we got a pool party or something twerking all of you know ass cheeks out tits out and that's what our people are thinking about. But in the meanwhile, you got stuff like this right here going on. Total indicator that we're in the end and Jake is not listening. Scary, man. Like I said, again, be thankful, you know, that Yahweh by Shimmy Abishai woke you up if you're in this truth, man. Straight up, man. <laughs> the scripture says, uh, Romans 13 and 11, it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. And we're near, man. We, we, you can't. Everything is playing out. It's right before our very eyes. Wars, rumors of wars. That's one of the things that Yahweh Shai talked about when the disciples asked him, "Lord, what will be going on before your coming in the in the end days?" They literally asked him that, and everything that the Lord named off is happening right now. Wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, famines. You, you, they even talking about. Uh, uh, they're rationing out um, damn Similac and, and 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 that chemical milk they've been poisoning motherfuckers with. <laughs> you know, the women too lazy to lift up the shirt and get the get the baby on the on the on the on the tit, and they fussing about how's my baby gonna eat. Well, you got I mean you got the the, the proper milk right within you, and that's a man. That's like an omen from you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. Then you got you got the one half of the country of women talking about you know mad as hell that they can't continue on getting their abortions then you got a, another half or another quarter of them talking about well how am i gonna feed my baby we're we're running out of similac come on man you're living in the last day so the lord spoke of famines he spoke of pestilence now you're starting to hear a more and more lockdowns when it comes to that that cov now they're talking about north korea is on a lockdown this is the first you hearing of them even talking about some COV since in the past two years, I think. But they've been testing missiles. They've been doing um, missile um, tests the past couple of days. All you're hearing is talks of nuclear war in the news now. That's all you're hearing, man. NATO, I'm telling you, man, those scriptures are jumping off the pages right now. Everything is coming to pass. So you got wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, famines, earthquakes. It was an earthquake, I think, today they, um, that was in the paper or in the news. And them earthquakes have been happening real, real rapidly recently, man. 
on a day-to-day -day basis. Some some spots, it's you know, a few quakes at, at, in the same day. So you got that going on. So you got the earthquakes, the famines, the pestilence, the wars, rumors of wars. Um, what else was it? Uproars of the people was going on. And we ain't gonna even talk about, uh, <laughs> you know, all the the things that's being said about how the, the 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 people were actually gonna be in the last days, man. Lovers of themselves, boasters, these big monstrous ass kids, disrespectful to their parents, truce breakers, <laughs> murderers, rapists. This is out here human trafficking people all these wicked things that are going on are things that was being spoken of in the last days that's why the scripture says measure thou the time diligently in second address nine and one the lord said measure that time man that's like you know you knowing that your your, your you know your lift or your uber is about to pull up you're not going to just be still in bed you're not going to just be popping in the shower you know you're going to be already up ready ready to go and that's the way that we should be because the Lord said that he's coming like a thief in the night, man. And you know how thieves get down. Thieves get down, man. They catch you. They're they, they all about the catching your ass off guard. The element of surprise, man. The element of surprise. So when the Lord comes, people are going to be out here doing all this little summertime shit like how they doing. And we don't know when he's going to come, but he did give us an indicator or a blueprint as to what would be going on before he came. And we're starting to see those things, man. Because this right here, it's this escalation right here with this NATO thing. Man, look. We're only two prophecies away from the Lord popping up, man. World War III. Because this right here is a definite, definite indicator of World War III right here. Because you, you got these leaders, what they're basically saying of NATO. So say, for instance, Poland, I mean, and Finland become a, a NATO partner and just so happen Russia, you know, shoots a nuke or something like that or a nuclear whatever into Ukraine and the wind is blowing a certain a certain way that day and that wind blows any of that that, that radiation towards the Poland or Finland, then that's an act of war to, the, to NATO. So now NATO, all those countries that are a part of NATO, they have to act now. So you already know that's World War III at its finest. So this is how close you are to that, man. This is, hey, man, this is one, <laughs> one little event away, man, from this shit happening, man. Because Russia gonna do something about this. That's the reason why they're in Ukraine right now. It's because they don't want the U.S. and these NATO nations that close to them when it comes to war. They don't want them on their border, man. That's like Russia coming over here and setting up in Canada or setting up in Cuba or setting up off the coast of California right there out in the waters and just like, you know, hey, we're just going to plant ourselves right here. And got shit faced your way to take out your continent whenever you get out of hand. That's the, that's the same thing. You know, you know, Russia just pull up in Cuba and set up shop. I think Cuba is about 90 miles, 100 miles or so. From Florida, I think. You know, you're right in, in, in missile range. But that's why they got them intercontinental ballistic missiles. Them, them missiles that go from continent to continent. And Russia got a gang of them, man. It's nothing for Russia to knock off every single NATO nation with the push of a button. With a, with a missile facing towards. And th these guys got missiles that are undetectable. You can't do nothing to stop them. <laughs> you know, so... That weaponry game is up when it comes to Russia. U.S. got some stuff, but hey, U.S. is not trying to mess with Russia like that. But it's going to eventually escalate because the um, the scriptures talks about the Lord, the kings of the, the heart of the kings are in the Lord's hand. You know, it's like a river. He turned it, he turn turn it, turn it that the way that he see fit. Roughly paraphrasing. So he's controlling these leaders, man. He's in control. Of what these leaders think and what they do and what their next move is gonna be. He's in control of that. Because man's goings of you, how about Shimmy I was shy? I'm telling you, man, this thing is getting real, man. And you're living in exciting times. 
And here you got Edomites fighting against Edomites on a global level. Level. And we love it, man. But it's going to come a point where Jacob's trouble is going to start. And these so-called white people, they're going to turn their attention towards you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And, if, and the Lord said, my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, my servant shall, you know, have joy, roughly paraphrasing, man. But if you're not a part of being his servant, it's going to be bad times for you. It's going to be bad times for you, your babies, your grandmama, your granddaddy, and whoever the hell else that, that hasn't called on the, on, on, on the Lord, man. You how about Shemiah Wasai? So, again, I tell you, man, it's our time to awake out of sleep. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better wake the hell up. And wake up fast because see these these nations they have military might i mean we we're, we're the only people with no standing military we're just trapped in these in these people's nations you know just working and paying tribute basically but now do we have an army yes we do but it's not a standing army on this planet we don't have tanks and black hawk helicopters and f-22 fighter jets and shit like that we got our lord the lord of hosts the man of war to depend upon and you have to be calling on the true name and the true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai which means that he's the savior or deliverer in paleo Hebrew see but see the so called white man they didn't threw their white Jesus away they didn't lie about the Lord being a white guy for hundreds of years and got everybody believing that crap now that they're in power by using the, the power of the book they throwing white Jesus away <laughs> So if you you thinking that white Jesus is about to save you in these, these last days, you're a fool. That white guy that they painted during the Renaissance era is a, is a straight idol. You're worshiping white Jesus. You're worshiping an idol. You're going to Christianity, you're going to these churches that 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 flaunt white Jesus. You're in a harlot house and you're 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 worshiping an idol, man. And the Lord is going to destroy you for it because he said he's a jealous God. He'll have no other God before him, man. It's not going to work. So <laughs> it's high time to awake out of sleep and repent. And this goes for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, because you are those Hebrew Israelites. You are those people that came out of Egypt with Moses, man. You're those people. So, hey, come out of these harlot houses, man, and repent. Because this war stuff is only going to get worse. Like I said again, that World War III is going to escalate. And things are going to get really, really bad, man. You just wait until that food, until food, the food really gets low. They're already working on that famine real good for you. They might let the summer ride out. Give, you, give, give people a chance to go out and do their pork ribs on 4th of July. They might do that. They might let summer ro ro ride out before they throw y'all asses into another lockdown <laughs> you know might let you get a hamburger off the grill a damn uh, uh, a damn hot dog mixed with pork chicken and 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 whatever the hell else is in it you know here with your pork ribs man they, they, they might let you get another plate in <laughs> you know the lord might let you get down for a hot little quick uh, another little season but man things about to get real damn crazy man so like I said again, repent. As you can see, it says Russia threatens to retaliate as Finland seeks NATO membership without delay. So this guy Putin, man, is making moves. He's about to get busy, man. You can hear of a nuclear strike on damn Ukraine tomorrow. He throw a little something out there. He ain't going to completely demolish the whole damn continent. But he'll throw, he might throw a little something out there to beef up them, them attacks, man. Because America always in some shit. This Babylon the Great, these crackers here, man, they always into something. And they use your taxpayers' dollars to, to get it to get it in. We have absolutely nothing to do with that crap, man. But they take our money and, and, and use it towards all kinds of shit that we don't agree with. Especially us being in this truth, man. That's why it's so important to repent on a day-to-day -day basis. Because, you know, for sins being committed knowingly and unknowingly. Because... Our money, we're actually working towards wickedness, man, for this so-called white man here in this kingdom, man. This guy uses our money for abortions. This guy uses our money for war, just straight killing people. Uses our money 
to, to push agendas that actually go against our own people killing each other. So you're dealing with a wicked ass demon, man. And it's time for them to go down. And it, that's why I say this is so beautiful right here. It's a beautiful thing, man, to see Edomites fighting against Edomites, man. But the Lord is going to come and fin do the finishing off, man, when it's all said and done. So I just wanted to just bring this out. You know, I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Shalom.